How's it going guys? I am Starjake here once again with a brand new video and here today I wanted to make a short little video talking about something I found kind of interesting earlier today. So there's this rapper that I used to be friends with. His name was Richard Gein. He has been active for well over a decade. He's made a good number of albums and I recently began listening to his music. Sadly he died a few months ago and and I was one of the first people to learn about it. So I thought it was pretty depressing because me and him had literally talked like about a week or so before he died. I felt kind of bad in a way because I didn't really listen to his music all that much before he had died. I decided to take it upon myself to go all over the internet, find his music, and potentially buy some of his CDs off of his official website. When I went to Rachel Music, I found a few albums that were literally nowhere on the internet that I found kind of intriguing. If you go over to Bandcamp, you can find most of the Richard Gein albums. He also went by Stealth Entity and a lot of other names as well. It's very possible that there's also some unreleased or lost music under those names, but there's little to no documentation of it, so I can't really verify any of it. I know there is one album by Stealth Entity called Horoscope. It's not documented like almost anywhere so it's very possible there's other lost media that I do not know about but I came across a few albums and they are lost. They're not on Bandcamp, they're not for sale on the website. I am going to flip the camera, go over to Mobazin, I'm going to be showcasing the Rachel Music page and talking a little bit about it, alright? I just discovered these lost albums earlier today so I don't know too much about them but I do know that they are lost I do know that they've been lost for years now so yeah I am going to flip the camera and I am going to be talking about them okay we are here now on the Rachel music page and this is a list of the albums now most of these can be found on Bandcamp and on the official website, but some of these have little to no documentation aside from Rachel Music and a couple of other sources, but, all right, so the first one here is Creatures of the Night, which I believe is on Bandcamp, I don't exactly remember, Zombie Vomit, Dark Side of the Goon, both of those are on Bandcamp, this one that I cannot say the name of is on Bandcamp. And then there's this one. The album is called I Swear to Drunk I'm Not God. And that is what it looks like over there. Okay, so I saw this and I wanted to listen to it. I was like, this looks kind of interesting. But there's like nothing about this anywhere online. There is a Bandcamp link right here, but when you click on it, it says it's unavailable. And when you look up almost any of the tracks on this track listing, there is almost nothing of any of them. There are a couple of tracks that could be found on YouTube, but a lot of these are nowhere online, so... This means that it was taken down a long time ago and is now lost. But there is a physical release of this album, and I'm going to quickly search it. Alright, so when you go on Discogs, which I hate that website, but that's like the only website that has more evidence of this one. I found some stuff on it. Sorry, it's hard to type like this because my phone is being held up. But, yes, it is on Discogs. There is an official CD release of it. The only way you could really hear this is if you owned a copy of this, basically. But, again, it's really hard to find. There weren't many copies pressed of it, so it's not one of those releases that you can just buy and listen to whenever. So, you go over here, and 
Yeah. Like, it has an official track listing, has an official CD release, and everything. It's just unavailable literally everywhere on the internet. But that's one of the lost albums. It was taken down from Bandcamp forever ago, and it was never re-uploaded. And there's no proof that it's anywhere online now. I looked on the archival databases, I looked on uh, YouTube... Yeah, there's not very much to say about this album. The next one, which is kind of a funny title, Lucy in the Sky with Diarrhea. This album is also lost media. I don't exactly know why this was taken down, but yeah, if you go to Bandcamp on this one, it's also unavailable. And it has been lost over time as well. This one's also not on any MP3 archival databases. It's not on uh, YouTube or almost anywhere. Now, there are some tracks on here that were featured on the Greatest Hits from 2017. But aside from, like, a couple of tracks, everything else on it is lost. So, this album particularly, Lucy in the Sky with Diarrhea... This album is completely lost, aside from one or two tracks. And, go back. But yeah, both of these albums in 2014 are lost media. And there's Music to Mutilate, which I can't show. I'm not going to click that one because there's a bit of imagery on that that I cannot show here. There is the Sludge and Death album, which I don't know if this one's lost or not. I don't remember seeing this on Bandcamp, but it very well could be. I can look that one up right quick. I probably should have did this before I started the video, but I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, that album I just mentioned, Lucy in the Sky, this one also has physical copies. But, oh my god, what's up with these ads? This website... Oh my god. Like, this website is so annoying. They just have to force every ad on you. Okay. And it's the same ad. God, you're ruining the damn video. Alright. So, it was released by Ruler Y Recordings... And it has uh, 15 tracks on it. Alright, if you potentially have any physical media of Richard Gein, then feel free to notify me on Instagram or whatever, because I would love to own copies of his music. On uh, the website, they are currently just selling CD jackets, and we all know I don't really care for those. But the OG pressings of all of his albums are like in real jewel cases and digipacks, so I would love to own these, but they are very out of print. So, yeah. And, you know, it's a lost album, so of course I would want it even more. But I'm going to go over to Bandcamp, and I'm going to see if I can find that other album. Oh my god. I should have did this before I started the video. Okay. So yeah, there's Dark Side of the Goon Part 2. Oh, this one. Now nah, I'm going to get to that in a second. I can quickly go by that one. I guess that one's not on here. Yeah, I was right. So, looks like that one's also lost media. Oh my god, did I delete the page? No, I did not. Okay, so it looks like the Sludge and Death album from 2014 is also lost media. Maybe. Can't find this one online either, aside from a Discog submission and a Rachel Music submission. So, fantastic. But... Yeah, this is another album. I don't know what happened in 2014. I don't know why so many albums from this year happened to be lost from him. But it's kind of disappointing. As of now, I've found three lost albums. Now, I'm going to go over here right quick. And 
There is another album that I was actually kind of surprised with. So, okay, so Zombie Vomit 2 is on Bandcamp. That album is, I believe, on Bandcamp. I don't know. Satan's Playlist is on Bandcamp. Two Ghoul for School is on Bandcamp. And then there's Sunflowers, Volume 1 by Stealth Entity. Okay. So this has 10 tracks on it. And this album, for a while, was also Lost Media. Alright, like, I cannot find much about this online. This cover can only be found through Rachel Music, but on Bandcamp, yeah, I guess that other album's also, nope, yeah, Raw Shit Deluxe, it is on here, alright, so that is not lost. Okay, Sunflowers. Alright, this has 18 tracks on it instead of 10, as it's shown on Rachel Music. And it's stated down here that a lot of these have been lost for a while. So, pretty cool. I guess this, I guess this was also lost media at some point. Uh, it says it was released in 2021. Yeah. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. So, Richard Gein is currently one of my favorite rappers. I've been listening to him a lot more over the past couple of days. And he definitely has some lost media. There are a few albums of his that are impossible to get a hold of now. I mean, it pretty much is what it is. I'm sure these albums are somewhere on the internet or someone owns copies of them. Again, there is no way that these albums have just completely disappeared from existence. They probably exist. They probably are in someone's CD collection. They could be on someone's downloaded music library. These very well could be found at some point, but as of now, these are pretty much lost media. Specifically, I swear to drunk, I'm not God, Lucy in the Sky with Diarrhea, the Sludge and Death album, ironically, all from 2014. Thankfully, Music to Mutilate is not lost media. That's like my favorite album of his right now. But every other album from this year is lost. And there is probably a lot more from him that is also lost that I am not aware of. Again, the Horoscope album by Stealth Entity when that was, well, under that project name. That album would be lost if not for someone uploading it to YouTube. In fact, that album probably would have been completely undocumented if not for that YouTuber posting it on his channel. And I can link that in the description if you want to go check that album out. I don't know when it released, but it's a pretty good album. Anyway, yeah. So he has some lost media, and I would encourage anyone who has it to message me, and I will literally pay you to get me these albums. If you potentially own any of these on physical media... Feel free to hit me up because I really want to own some, own like any of his albums. I will eventually buy them on the website where they're being sold, but of course I want to own the OG copies because, you know, who wouldn't? I'm a collector and I love his music, so why wouldn't I want them? So, um, yeah. That is pretty much all I gotta say here. Three of his albums, all from 2014, are currently lost media, and if you potentially 
have any of these, feel free to contact me or whatever. I really want to hear these. There's not really much else I want to say. I just wanted to kind of point these out to you all and show you that there are some albums of his that are impossible to find now. They exist on physical media, but there is little to nothing about them online. The only real documentation is the fact that there is a Bandcamp link going to these albums that no longer exist, and there is the Rachel Music submissions, and there is the Discog submission proving that there are physical copies of it. Three Lost Richard Gain albums and the Sunflowers album, which was lost at one point, which is now found, obviously. Pretty awesome. I really hope to hear these someday, and I would encourage all of you to go listen to Richard Gain if you haven't. He is an amazing artist, and I love pretty much everything I have heard from him so far. He's a really good artist, and I would encourage almost anyone, especially if you're a rap fan or a horrorcore fan to go check him out. I would suggest Music to Mutilate first. That's the album I started with and it's currently my favorite album of his. I feel like I'm kind of rambling on at this point. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all later. Have a great night. I hope you all enjoyed the video.